Hello, good morning everyone. I'm Andre, psychiatrist from Indonesia, and I still in Würzburg, Germany. And yesterday I got a very interesting presentations from one of the speaker here about the virtual reality to help patient conquer the phobia. And it was said in the presentations that many mental analysis uh, research regarding the use of uh, virtual reality to help the patients, especially with the phobia and also the social anxiety. And I think it is a breakthrough, even still controversies and how to deal with the emotions and also the get to the real situations of the phobia itself. As we know that in our clinical practice, many patients with phobia, like flying phobia or phobia about things like uh, you know, bats or maybe about the dogs or even sometimes a little thing like kitten and they are afraid of get involved with the specific items or things that makes them phobia and they try to what we call it uh, deny the situations and flight from the situations but unfortunately sometimes it's very hard to you know to concur when they are dealing with the flying uh, most of the patients, uh, executives, and also students, maybe in the lay people, they try to avoid uh, flying, but it's very hard to, uh, you know, avoid flying because of the works, or maybe sometimes because it has to, to get to families and also to see another opportunities outside or abroad. And I think uh, the reason why I'm interested in the virtual reality is it's because when we think about the you know specific treatment for the patients with social anxiety and specific phobia, we know that the sensitization, the sensitizations, and we call it also in our clinic is flooding the you know the situations to patients so they can manage how to deal with this and then how can be they desensitized with the problems. Even sometimes we add some antidepressants or anti-anxiety to face the problems. And from the presentations, we know that this is a kind like a future, you know, breakthrough and also treatment even sometimes it's very hard to get you know the ideas of how make it more reality to patients because maybe patients try to avoid this kind of procedures because they still they they still think that it is a fake it is not a reality it's just only a future reality and from the point of sight of the presentations, uh, they say also how to get to the problems when the immersions has to be like a presence experience with the patient. So the patients must have the immersions, you know, the experience, the very deep about the situation, even in the virtual reality, to get the presence moments or to get the emotions of the situation. So they can do desensitizations program with the virtual reality therapy. And I think it is a very uh, quite uh, you know inspiring and promising therapy for the future because we know the current development of virtual reality, we know from uh, our children, they you know, they use virtual reality to games, to play games with people. And also uh, when we are want to experience in the out space and then we are, 
you know, wearing Google and then we want to uh, get the experience. So I think the, the, you know, the research about this virtual reality uh, and in helping patients with anxiety and also uh, patients with uh, social phobia will be a quite promising, uh, you know, therapy for the next future. And I hope that many programmer and also, you know, IT uh, genius uh, make the virtual reality therapy more and more, you know, kind of like vivid and also real and make them very, uh, you know, cannot differentiate it between the reality and also the imaging or the you know kind of like, uh, imaginations uh, created by the virtual reality and i hope uh, many programmers uh, see this this uh, kind of like an opportunity to build up sometimes or something that uh, very uh, you know helpful for the patients and also for the psychiatrists and therapists and that's all for today's report from the World Associations for Stress Related and Anxiety Disorders International Congress in Würzburg, Germany. I am Andre, psychiatrist from Indonesia. Bye bye.